India in our constitution um, is defined as India that is Bharat, a union of states. So these states, they have got together and formed India or Bharat. And the most important thing is that the voice of all the people who are included in these states is heard loud and clear and no voice is crushed, intimidated uh, because I believe that India has an inherent wisdom, that it has a very long history, a long tradition and my experience has been that regardless of whether people are poor or rich, uh, they have a sense of what India should be doing and where it should be going. So to me the first step is protecting that voice and making sure that the institutions, the structures that protect that voice are working and are defended. That's where the whole thing begins. And I, I state that because when we say, when we use words like democracy, what we are actually talking about is the voice of people. And listening effectively to that voice, allowing that voice expression is central to uh, you know, any success. And we've experienced that pretty much everything that we've achieved so far, whether uh, you know, it is our economic growth, our ability to manage our differences, the bedrock of it is this idea that we protect the voice of all our people. And our leader, Mahatma Gandhi, said it best when he said that the most important voice is the one that's last in the line. It's the most difficult voice to protect. And a nation that is doing that will succeed.